As you can tell by the trees behind me, it is officially fall now, which means it is time for another EDC update. What is going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things, bringing you guys the ever so requested EDC update. It seems like every week or month you guys want to see and know what I am carrying with me on my person, in my pockets at all times. Much like all of these updates, some things have changed, some things have stayed the same, and some things have kind of been just rotated around. Now before I get into everything that I'm carrying with me in my everyday carry setup right now, I want to let you guys know about something, a new series that I am starting as of tomorrow. This new series is going to be called 5 Minute Fridays. There are many things that I buy or acquire, whether it's EDC or tech. And they're items that are kind of small and I don't really feel like they have a place on the channel to have a dedicated video review of that item. 5 Minute Fridays is going to be the solution for all of those small knickknack type of items, that way they have a place to live here on the channel. They're going to be relatively short, hopefully 5 minute videos on reviews of technology and different EDC items, whether it's knives and flashlights or holsters and guns. Or the videos may even end up just being a story or a common question that I keep getting asked that I just haven't found a way to fit into a video naturally. So you guys will see that here on the channel starting tomorrow and then hopefully every Friday after that as long as you guys keep liking, sharing, subscribing, and doing all of the typical YouTube things. I'll be sure to preface tomorrow's video with more information on that, but without further ado, let's get into my EDC setup. So like I said, some things have changed, some things have stayed the same, and other things you probably have seen before but just kind of got thrown back into my EDC rotation. So let me get all of the stuff out of the way that you guys have seen before, there have been dedicated video reviews on, and things that you really don't need to know anything more about. The first thing will be all of my Trayvax gear. You guys know Trayvax is a big supporter of this channel and I was a big supporter of the company and their products long before I even started this YouTube channel. They make a lot of different items that end up in my EDC rotation like their wallets, their keys like this Trayvax cinch. I'm not even going to talk about this so don't get your hopes up. As well as the cinch belt which you guys will see here in a little bit. But yeah, not a whole lot has changed here. I am still carrying the same cinch with the QD mount. On my keys I am carrying the Olight i1R EOS. This is a 5 lumen light, same as the last EDC update. On its highest mode it goes all the way up to about 130 lumens. This one might be a little bit dead, but it is USB rechargeable. Only about 20 bucks on Amazon, so of course I'm going to be leaving a link for this and everything else in the description down below. Another tool that I have on my keys is the Gerber Shard. I can't say enough good things about this. I always have this in my EDC update videos and it lives on my keys at all times. It is a little pry bar with two flat heads on here that you could use as a screwdriver, bottle opener, Phillips head, and I of course have it wrapped in paracord to give it a little more aesthetic, a little bit of a grip on there. It's basically just black paracord that I gutted the insides out, wrapped it up, burned it, and yeah, this thing has been the same for years now. Those are my keys on my Trayvax keychain and then my wallet. In my last update, I believe I was still carrying the TS version of the Ascent, and now I have since switched back to the TS version of the Contour. This is a one of one, there were not production models of these made, but since you guys like those wallets and the belts that I did with Trayvax, maybe I can make this become a reality sometime in the near future. So this is their Onyx Black Contour wallet, and then on the back they have my logo kind of etched into the black leather here. Again, I've done videos on this, you guys have seen it a bunch in the past, I am still carrying the beard comb, the Trayvax shift in the front here. It's a nice small compact size and I basically rotate out Trayvax wallets with every single month. Now moving on down to my dedicated pocket light. In the past I was carrying the smaller version, the AAA version of an Olight. I have since moved back to the Olight S1R baton. Again, this is something I've done a video on in the past. There are a bunch of different modes. It ramps all the way up through high, medium, and low. If I tap and hold it, it will go into the moonlight mode, and then if I double tap it, it will give me about 900 lumens. This is a super awesome light, and the reason I keep going back to this is because it is rechargeable. I like when my lights are rechargeable. That way, I don't have to be burning through batteries all the time. If it gets low, I simply throw it on the magnetic stand, and it charges up. Now, if you guys watch my last mail time video, you will know that Olight was nice enough to send me the new version, the S1R Baton 2. So I've only been carrying this one for about a week. There are some notable differences between the two. I have the new one in my right hand here. 
I do really like the knurling on it. It is a little bit smaller than the older version. There is an LED indicator on the activation switch. Still rechargeable, which is a huge plus in my book for an EDC light. And the pocket clip has also changed, so technically I can mount this on the brim of a hat like I could with some other lights that I've carried in the past. Here is that 1000 lumens. This thing is super bright, even during the daytime. Super awesome light. I'm not going to go too into depth with this because it is very similar to the previous one, but this is the type of item that you guys may see in a future five minute Friday. Oh yeah, my phone, how could I forget about that? Again, nothing has changed here. This is the Pixel 2 XL. I'm rocking my pop socket on here. These are aluminum, super durable, and I can't carry a phone without a pop socket on it anymore. A lot of people have asked about this matte screen protector. It's good because it does not leave fingerprints and it's kind of nice if you use swipe texting. I will leave a link for where you can find those in the description down below, and the camera on this phone is awesome. When I was out in Vegas and I was going places where I couldn't bring my dedicated video camera setup, I was using this and the quality looks really good. I think in the future I'm going to do a video dedicated to only using my cell phone. So I'm going to film a whole video. I don't know what it's going to be on, but I do plan on doing that sometime in the future. Now we will move on to the knife. In my previous EDC update video, I was carrying the Microtech Tachyon 3. It's a battle song. It's a very large knife and it's a very quality knife too. Other than my lights and my wallets, I typically swap out which knife I carry more than anything else in my EDC rotation. So this is not the knife that I am currently carrying, but I did carry this for a long time after that battle song, and that is the Colonel Blade Flipper or Folder. You can definitely see a little bit of wear on the blade because I do use this to open boxes and just cut random things, cords, threads off of clothing. At the same time, it is a super effective defense tool, and I have a lot of these blades actually. I did a full video on everything that these stand for and how they are supposed to be used, so if you want to check that video, I will leave a link for it up in the corner right here. So I carried this knife for a few months until I was out in Vegas when one of my friends who happens to work at Blade HQ hit me up and wanted to send me something new. So now enter what has become one of my all-time favorite EDC knives, and this is something I'm going to cover more in a video in the future, but that is the Spyderco Para 3. I always said in the past that the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 was one of my top favorite knives of all time. If someone asked me, hey, you can only have one knife for the rest of your life, what would it be? Most of the time I would say the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. The Para 3 is very similar to that with similar G10 handles and jimping all around, full flat grind blade. But it is a little bit smaller, a little bit more pocketable, a little bit more less offensive than the bigger Paramilitary 2. Has a compression lock, a solid pocket clip it's all black and murdered out it's a super awesome knife and this is another thing that you will see in a five minute Friday here in the future now here's one thing that I always have with me in all of my videos and for some reason I never really included it in an EDC update video but that is my pair of sunglasses that I always wear I have like 16 pair of these and these are the spy discords these happen to have their happy lens technology. They are polarized and they are a nice pair of sunglasses. They are very big though. I have a fairly large head. So when I wear small glasses like Ray-Bans, even the biggest pair of Ray-Bans, they don't really look that good on me. So these are the pair that I always wear and like I said, I have a bunch of them. Now moving down to the last thing which would be my belt, holster, and firearm choice. Like I said, I am using the Trayvac Cinch still. I test a lot of different belts and I always seem to go back to these belts. So these are definitely ones that I can recommend. And also thank you to anyone who got the limited edition version with the TS logo on there. I appreciate the support. Now for the firearm, I am currently carrying a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. You guys probably saw my review of the Smith & Wesson 3.6 inch and since then I have upgraded, or not really upgraded, but just sized up to the compact model, which is a four inch barrel. The reason I did that is because this is more similar to a Glock 19 and the little bit of extra barrel on there, it doesn't really add a whole lot of length on there and I just prefer the way it feels and looks. They both fit in the same holster, so for the 3.6 inch video, I was running it in this QVO more discreet, all carbon fiber black. The 3.6 would only come down to about here, but this is molded for the compact, so this fits in here just fine. I'm not sure if I will do a dedicated video on this because it is so similar to that gun. The only thing that's really different is the barrel length. 
I will clear this and show you guys which ammo I am carrying. Pretty much the same ammo as always. These are the Federal HSTs. Ballistically, it is a very effective round. I have bought a bunch of different packs of these. That way I can actually cycle them through the guns that I carry and make sure that everything works properly. So with this gun and even the 3.6, you get 15 and one. That should be plenty of rounds, hopefully. I hope I never have to use this thing, but it is nice knowing that I have a bunch of rounds with me. Previously, I was carrying a Cuvia Wingman holster with my Glock 19. That gave me 31 rounds. <laughs> I really hope if I ever have to pull a firearm and use it in a self-defense situation that I really don't need that many rounds. So I have since downsized and I've been running the more discreet holsters a lot more. It's nice and compact. It makes going to the bathroom a little bit easier. You can just kind of push the holster off to the side and do your business. And then sometimes, not all the time, this isn't something that is consistently in my EDC rotation like these other items. But occasionally I do end up carrying a Neomag. Again, this is something that I've done a video on in the past. Maybe I will cover these again in a five minute Friday. We'll see how that series goes. But it's a magnetic clip with a little deep carry pocket clip. You simply stick it to your metal magazine. And then I would run this with the bullet tips facing forward. Down here in my pocket, right about the middle or a little bit off to the left side of my pocket. That way, if you do need to reload, you're going to be reloading just as if you were wearing it on the outside in a tack belt or in a QVO wingman. Index, pull right out, and then load into your gun. Oh, one other thing that I didn't mention about the M&P9 is that I'm running the True Glow sights on here, fiber optic, and there are tritium vials in there. At nighttime, these things are awesome. They pick up so much ambient light and they are super bright. If I have this thing sitting on my nightstand, I can visibly see where my gun is whenever I wake up. Unless, of course, I have it locked up in my gun box, which I have been using a lot lately. But yeah, I believe that is about all gonna make this thing hot again and I will put all of this stuff in my pockets where I actually carry it. A lot of times when I make these videos people see all of the things that I carry and there's like there's no way you can carry all of that stuff on you at the same time. Those people are probably not very familiar with how EDC works and if you look at what I'm carrying there really isn't a whole lot. So I have my cinch belt on, the gun in the QVO holster goes right about there, not quite 12 o'clock just a little bit off to the side. I could tuck my t-shirt in behind it if I want to a lot of people say that the grip on the 2.0s bother them. Maybe you just need tougher skin. I don't know. It really hasn't been bothering me, and I've been wearing this thing a lot. So I'll throw my t-shirt and hoodie over that. Spyderco Pair 3 in my right pocket, along with my phone in the same pocket. My Trayvax wallet I keep in my front left pocket. The Olight S1R Baton 2 also goes in my left pocket with my wallet. And then my keys I simply clip onto my outside belt loop and throw them into my back pocket. So that's it, there really isn't a whole lot to it, but there are still some people that are like, there's no way you can carry all of that stuff on you. It's really not that hard. So these are all of the things that I'm currently carrying with me in the fall of 2018. Maybe, perhaps I will do an updated video on this in the winter because like I said, you guys ask for these videos all the time. I also have some other stuff that I do not personally carry on my body, like in my car I have an IFAC kit and different blades and knives and things like that. Lately I've also been getting more into carrying an EDC bag with me, that way I don't have to have all of this stuff on my person. So I will definitely be doing a video on all of that stuff sometime in the future, but before then I have a lot of other stuff to get to. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did, please leave a like on it. That way I will know to make more of these in the future. If you have any questions on anything in my setup, feel free to leave those in the comments down below and I will try to answer as many as possible. But if it is something that I'm planning on answering in a five minute Friday, which comes out tomorrow, so make sure you click subscribe, they're coming soon, then I will probably skip over those questions or just let you know that I will be doing a video on it in the future. Whew, that was pretty quick. Oh my watch, I didn't talk about my watch. A lot of you guys wanted to see a video on this watch and I'm not really that interested in watches where I'm going to do a dedicated review video on them. But this is one of the ones that Roger got me as a gift on the cruise. If you haven't seen that video, you're really slacking on the channel lately. This is the Casio G-Shock WR20 bar. Again, I will leave a link for this and all of the other stuff in the description down below. Now, I think I did pretty good on time. There was a lot of stuff covered there. So if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week and that is going to be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.